there's ever increasing demand for ukulele players who are looking at full on electric use. So it's always good to get a new option to take a look at. Keep watching. Yes, welcome back. It's the God of Ukulele Review Day. As ever, this is the summary video uh, review only of the full written review that you'll find linked below every video on this channel. Also down there are some links as to how you can donate to help keep this site going if you want to say thank you for this content. Um, and it is, um, that's what these names at the bottom are for, I'm saying thank you to those, because uh, it's really the only way I can keep doing this. This channel costs money to continue bringing you things. Um, and I don't take money from the brands and stores, they would just be product placement. Um, and you can also help me out by subscribing to the YouTube channel, that would be really helpful too. Okay, electric ukuleles, and by that I mean steel-strung electric ukuleles like small electric guitars, incredibly popular. I get there's a lot of traditional ukulele players out there that don't want to touch them at all, but when you look at those that are out there, when they come into stock in shops, they sell out really quickly. Notable brands that I've looked at include Risa and Flight, who've done a few, uh, incredibly popular. The shops can't get them enough, so it's always nice to get something else in the stable as an option. This is not a new brand. This has been around for a while, got a lot of fans. It's just taken a while to get one on Got a Ukulele, so my thanks to them for sending this one up. This is from Fana Guitar Works in Western Cape, South Africa, and it is the Fana Pixelator Thin Line. A tenor scale um, based on a Thin Line Telecaster from Fender, and um, it's my favorite ukulele shape, so they, they kind of, they didn't know that when they sent it. Um, now, what's gonna come through in this in this review is that Fana are very local. They use a lot of locally sourced materials. They're a family business. They give you a lot of choice. All of these things are ticking boxes for me. And uh, my thanks to Mark Fana, who was helping out and, and help explaining how the ordering process works, where you see every stage of the development of these, because these are not factory instruments. These are handmade by the family, Brian and Mark Fanner. Um, and you get an awful lot of choice, but let's get into it. It could be a long review, this one. As I say, one of my favorite body styles, the uh, thin line telly. It's basically a Telecaster, but with routed out chambers in here and a drop top put on top of it with this F hole. I absolutely love it. It is made, this one, in standard spec from reclaimed Maranti wood. That is to say, wood that has not been chopped down just to make an instrument, wood that has been used for something else, door, furniture, stairwells, things like that. And it's been repurposed into the instrument. I love that. In their standard specs, they encourage you to have their reclaimed wood. For more, you can have virgin select timbers if you want them, but why wouldn't you have the reclaimed stuff? That's really nice. So choice there, lots of choice of body styles as well. They don't just make Telecaster styles. I'm really pleased on this to see that they went with a very traditional uh, Telecaster barrel brass uh, saddles down there. Very nice looking. Couple of single coil pickups, hand wound in South Africa and potted in beeswax to seal them from the Fana farm. More sustainability, that's that's a lovely touch as well. So they're hand matched for the instrument, um, slightly different power levels to them, um, really, really nice. Uh, the chrome work here, they say, they get that specified in South Africa in Cape Town, cut, they polish it themselves. Again, that's a really nice touch, but there are, they say, some elements that they have to buy in, and I, I think these are probably two of those. So it's your tone and volume control and a three-way selector. And the reason why I think they've been bought in is I think they look a little bit big for a small instrument. They're, they're guitar knobs. That's my first gripe, and it's a very small one. Uh, as I say, finished in by the Fana team, not in a factory. This is uh, hand-sprayed ni uh, nitrocellulose paint colored in, covered in a polygloss and polished back. It's extremely well done. You can tell it's been done by hand. There are occasional little ripples in it. A bit of polish hasn't been polished out inside the F-hole here, but I see that on Gibson hollow body guitars. It's a hard, hard area to clean out, and you can't see it when you're playing it. But I kind of think that also lends it a sound, kind of an air of, well, it's, it's handmade, not factory production line. 
Uh, pick guard, you get a choice of that. You get a choice of the pickups as well. <laughs> Loads of choice. The neck on the standard is made of maple. It's a bolt-on like it is on the Telecaster. Really glassy smooth. You get a choice of woods for that as well. You get a choice of whether it's stained. You get a choice of whether it's painted. You get lots and lots of choice. Uh, naturally, it's going to be narrower than an acoustic because they're steel strings, but it's still 34mm, 27G to A up there, so, you know, it's kind of roomy. Um, <clears throat> the fingerboard is made of Venge wood, which is in standard, but again, you get lots of choice of what fingerboard wood you have. Really good condition, although a little bit too open-grained for me. I think that I'd like that filled a little bit. 12-inch radius on the top, 20 frets, 15 down to the start of the neck pocket. Uh, it's a really nice neck, actually. No sharp edges at all. Position dots, uh, 3, 5, 7, 10, 12, 15, 17, 19, and side dots, 2. Um, you could have block markers as well if you want those. Again, more choice. There's choice absolutely everywhere. Beyond that bone nut, and I like this, very Fender-esque, where it, the, the nut is set into the fingerboard material, and then there's a taper above it. I think that looks really nice. Uh, Fender-esque headstock without being Fender with the Fanner logo. Um, it is scalloped back to give some break angle to the strings, but I'm only really seeing more break angle on the fourth string. The first is a very shallow break angle. Now we shall see, because you really want a strong break angle up there to promote higher tension uh, and stop any risk of string buzzing. So a, a string tree there I, I was expecting to see, but there isn't one. We'll see, it might not affect anything at all. And the tuners, very vintage looking, open, uh, sorry, covered, vintage style chrome gears. Comes with a set of four of the electric guitar strings, a, t a set of tens, comes with a couple of strap buttons, and it comes with this Cordura bag, which is actually, again, made locally for them. They cut the cloth and then they have local people stitching these together. Really local, really sustainable, really nice family thing. Handmade by a team, hand painted, hand finished, hand put together, even putting the wax on the pickups. This sounds really boutique, doesn't it? $625 delivered anywhere in the world. Um, wow, okay, wow. All right, it's, it, it's, a, it's a lot of money, um, but with UK conversion, that's about the same price as the Reese's. And I think there's just a lot more soul to this than any of the Reese's. You get an awful lot more choice. Yes, it's more than the flights, but this beats the flights hands down on build quality. And you're buying something that is made by a small team for you, spec to you, $625. I think it's an absolute steal for what it is. Um, that's in standard spec. If you start beefing up and putting all the different options on it and changing the woods, your price is going to go up quite a bit, but that's all right. Okay, um, it's obviously heavier than an acoustic instrument, 1.49 kilograms, a bit body heavy, but you're going to be playing this with a strap. I don't like doing electric reviews for the simple reason, as I always say, it depends what you're playing them through. This, is, this doesn't make a lot of sound unplugged, so I'm playing this one through a Blackstar guitar amp, a decent amp, um, if once I can get it started up. Um, but, you know, if you play this through a boutique amplifier, you can have a very different experience to playing this through a two-inch speaker plastic thing running on a couple of AA batteries. If you are in the market for an, a, a solid steel string electric guitar, don't skimp on your amplifier. The other thing I also find with these is I play electric guitar. If I've been playing uh, acoustic guitar and then I pick up an electric, you've got to remember to back off the finger pressure here because it's really easy to throw the strings sharp by squeezing because they're very bendy. And I found that's a real particular problem on tenor scale ukuleles with steel strings because the tension is lower than a guitar, so you've got to be even more careful. Reesa and Flight, I, found I, had, I struggled with. Um, now, there's a bit of that going on here, but nowhere near as much, and that's because this has been set up by Brian with an incredibly low action. Um, the other thing I want to say is uh, what people really are interested in is how, how it sounds in the different positions. And what are the positives? Well, first of all, the pots are really good quality. The volume has a nice full sweep to it. Now, some would say, well, so what? So it should. Amazingly, quite often you'll see them, this is on guitars as well, where the pots just sort of do everything in the first little wave and then nothing more. 
the tone as well. Really nice sweep to it. Really nice sweep to it. No static. And the sound of the different pickups. Uh, bridge pickup, bite. Middle is two pickups together. And the jazzy neck. This is a clean channel on the amplifier. Uh, with no effects other than a little bit of reverb. There's no real point in me playing these, is there? anything to it and this is really good thing most people who are going to buy one of these are going to play through effects pedals they're going to add distortions and tremolos and delays and things like that if you start with an instrument that has a colored muddy open clean tone you're only ever just going to apply effects to a muddy clean muddy tone if you get an instrument that's incredibly clean from the off you can then do what you want to it and dirty it up but it's very impossible it's impossible to clean up something that's already dirty and this isn't this is really nice that's a really nice but most people are going to sort of go like <laughs> is an absolute ruddy marvel i really really like looking at this i thought these were much more expensive than they are when they got in touch and they explained to me all the, the available custom options it doesn't really matter what you think of this one you can have this in any color you want you can change the fingerboard you can change the neck you can change the pickups you can change the pick card you can have your face in, in, in laid into it if you want it the choices are dizzying at the amount i love the sustainable element of the wood i love things like the fact that they're sourcing as much as they can locally rather than just buying in from china parts bins this is a real labor of love instrument and i was staggered when i saw the price at six two five dollars uk you know that's, that's not an impulse price but it's it's really fair people are dropping 550 quid in the uk on Risa instruments and they go out of stock the minute they appear in stores this tops it this tops it. If you are looking for a steel strung electric ukulele with a lot of choice and a lot of love has gone into it, this is top of the list. It has to be top of the list. This is remarkably good. <laughs> remarkably good. What a really nice thing. The Fana Pixelator Thin Line instrument, tenor scale, 17 inch, based on a Fender Telecaster, lots of other body styles, lots of other options, whatever colour you want, whatever pickups you want. Ramble, 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 ramble. My eternal thanks uh, to the team at Fana in South Africa, who've been very, very polite and helpful, answering my questions as I've been writing up the review. Um, the absolute marvel of an instrument, absolute marvel of a business. They've really got it right, haven't they? And I'm really going on now, aren't I? This gets a terrific score. 
It's my favourite steel strung electric ukulele I have seen on God a Ukulele. Admittedly, I haven't seen, there haven't been loads of them. This is an absolute no brainer. Absolute no brainer. Um, it plays well, sounds good. I love the build, I love the story. Shut up, shut up, Baz, shut up, Baz. <laughs> Somebody predicted I was going to be rambling about this one. But I've absolutely fallen in love with it. It's been an absolute joy to look at. Okay, Fano Pixelator. Wow, wow, wow. All right, I am. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Thanks for your ongoing support. Sorry to be a bit late today, uh, but some family stuff to attend to. I am back next week with a brand, very well known brand next week that people I think will be really keen to have a look at. It's a new one, kind of a new one for them. Um, I hope you go very carefully, look after each other this week, take care, stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you all. Bye bye.